He had a gun and he would always throw all the bullets out on the boat, on the bed, as though they were like rolling dice. And he would say it was one for each one of us. Sarah Jackson was married to an abusive husband for 24 years, and he didn't meet the stereotype many attached to an abuser. Jackson's husband was a pastor. He would always threaten us on a Saturday night, saying that if we should walk into the church with sad faces, we know what would be coming after the church service. Sarah says she tried to take her children and leave, but would always come back, feeling she didn't know how to function without her husband. My self-esteem was so low. After having been called so many names and had been beaten for so many years, and my self-esteem was below zero. Finally, Sarah found the strength to leave her husband more than 20 years ago. She credits sister care and her faith for finding the strength to rebuild her life and the lives of her children. But Attorney General Alan Wilson says not all victims of domestic violence are so blessed. And that's why on October 7th, he will host the annual Silent Witness Ceremony. Wilson will read the names of each person killed in South Carolina during the last year as a result of domestic violence. And a bell will toll for each one. And the whole purpose of it is to raise awareness of this of this horrible horrible thing that goes on in our state but number two is, is to educate people and let those out there who are either in an abusive relationship or know someone who's in, a, in an abusive relationship know that they are not alone and that there are resources and there is help out there help Sarah Jackson is grateful for after so many years of abuse if you're in it get out and don't go back because they're not going to change and you can't please them, you can't make them happy, and you can't satisfy them. In her experience, Sarah Jackson says that satisfaction can only be found by living a peaceful, abuse-free life. In Columbia, Stephanie Helling, Watch Fox News.